Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dean in It Yourself. Today I'm going to have a short video for you guys. Um, a lot of people ask me questions, you know, if they're hanging stuff, maybe mounting a TV on the wall, or if they're hanging some picture frames, or they're just putting up a shelf or something and they need to locate a stud. And they ask me, what's the fastest and the easiest way? Well, I'm going to show you guys how you can find the studs in your wall in five seconds or less. I'm sure you guys know what this is. You've seen this, it's a stud finder. Um, a lot of places sell this. You get this at your local hardware store, Amazon or whatever. Um, I used to use this a lot, but I found a faster way and a more accurate way. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. So basically, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna toss it. Now, if you guys like my videos, you like my content, please do me a favor, it will help out the channel. Hit the subscribe button below or in the bottom corner of your screen there's a little button you just click on that turn on your notifications you'll get notified whenever i upload new content um, i like to keep my videos simple for you guys so that you guys can follow along i try to use the most simple tools so that you know you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money so how we're going to find our stud in five seconds or less with this some of you might know this, some of you may not know this, but this tool will help you locate the stud in any wall. Um, the way it works is it has two magnets on either side and what it does is it grabs on to the screws that go into the studs. So you know that you're actually, um, once this magnetizes to the screw, you'll know that you're actually on the screw that goes into the stud. All right. Now, how does it work? Let me show you. So basically what you're gonna do is you wanna move the magnet in a figure eight pattern around the wall um, until it grabs onto the head of the screw. And I'm gonna show you right now. There you go. Less than five seconds, I've located the first stud. All right, now that you've located the stud, you know that in most homes, especially here in the United States, the studs are 16 inches on center. So you know that you're gonna have the other stud at least 16 inches this way and 16 inches that way. In some cases, you have non-load bearing walls that they may put it at 24 inches on center. But typically, you're gonna be looking at 16 inches. So 16 inches between this one and that one. One of the cool things about this stud finder is that it has a bubble level. You can see it here in the middle um, and it does rotate. So for example, I want my to locate my studs going, if I want to locate my studs running vertically, now all I need to do is level the bubble and I can mark here and here. And I know that I've now located the stud vertically. Likewise, if I want to get something horizontal, the same thing. I just need to rotate the bubble. I can rotate it like that, the same way, and adjust my level. And then I can mark this side or this side. And my line is perfectly horizontal. All right, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you guys can find this stud finder. Um, like I said, this is the one I use 99% of the time. It's cheap, easy. I can throw it in my tool bag. I always keep it handy. Um, I try never to leave it at home whenever I'm working on a project. Um, but yeah, it works. It's cheap. It's easy. It's fast. And I know a lot of times you guys want something that's cheap, easy and fast. This is a stud finder for you. Guys, now that you've located your stud, you've found it, now you know you can screw whatever you want into your stud, whether it's the bracket for a TV or it's a bracket for a mount, you have, you've located your stud. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful. Um, and if it was, please don't forget to leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, give me a like, share it with your friends. Um, and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching.